an ongoing objective that we have is to reduce our time to market and to give um, all the software engineers who uh, we work with time to develop the, the programs that they're going to use on the machine uh, without having to wait for a full machine to be done. There was something new that we're developing and we, we weren't exactly sure how the operator interface section of it would work and how it would work and be carried out. Before we had the machine on the floor and before we started running coils, we wanted to be able to verify that the functions that we had written would be able to interpret that part data properly to go through and actually dictate the positions that the uh, XY or XZ gantry was going to, to move to. Um, and process each of the tubes accurately. So this is the NXMCD software of the actual application running. Just We just did full screen here so you can see a little bit better. This, it's a complex mechanical operation that it's doing. So what we, you know, this is the same thing running, but here now you can see on the left-hand side, now you can see this is the TI portal program connected to the NXMCD. With SOLIDWORKS, you can have an animated model of your machine, and you can see the motion and you can see things happening. However, you want to know that the automation, the PLC control that's behind it, is actually driving the motion that you see on there. So long term, an animated model out of SOLIDWORKS isn't going to benefit you as much or as strongly as if you have the PLC that, with its logic that's actually going to drive the real machine in the very end that we ship to our customer, that you can see it very early on running a virtual model of the machine. Just be able to reduce the lead time on a machine is very important to us. Um, also, Comb had talked about being able to have a machine at a booth. Our machines are extremely large. When we go to uh, trade shows, we can't bring them with us, so it's very helpful. Um, this is another thing that we want to start looking into is can we bring a virtual model to the, the show with us? One thing I noticed was that we did have a lot more dialogue between the mechanical engineers and the electrical and controls engineers, and that was, I thought, very valuable. We're probably less than a couple of weeks each in going from knowing nothing about NX or MCD um, or even PLC Sim Advanced to having the entire thing up and running and modeled and, and going. Including the time that I was taking to, to be trained on the NX MCD, and including the time that I actually was making progress on it, it was probably took me about 20 hours to do. Having this digital twin available for us at home um, allows us to be able to make those changes in-house, get a high level of confidence of it before we send anything to the customer. With this model sitting there, you'll be able to do that, test it, see that it functions the way that you wanted it to. You could even take a screen recording of it send it to the customer, verify with them that that's the way that they wanted to see the change be made, and then send it to them. Siemens, ingenuity for life.